Hey everyone, it's Nikki again. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an update on my Project Pan 2020. Hey Fred, what's up? <laughs> you sit down? Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. You can lay down. Good. There you go. So, today's video is going to be an update on my Project Pan 2020. Um, the goal of this project is to completely pan 20 eyeshadows. I chose them at random at the start of this project and um, I already had some progress. Last month I was able to pan the shade Heavenly and I still have the empty pan right here. So, completely gone. I did have a lot of progress on this one beforehand. so. It was really cool to be able to knock one out the first of the month, or the first month of the year, rather. Um, I do have more progress this time around. Um, my goal for February was to focus mostly on like the pinks and the purples, since we had Valentine's Day mid-month. Um, I do have some progress on those, I'm really excited. Um, and I was able to dip into a lot of the other shades, but these are the ones that I um, have progress. The goal for this month also, not only just to focus on the pinks and the purples, was to hit pan on at least two shadows, and I hit pan on three, so I'm pretty excited about that. The first one I hit pan on was the shade Luminous Lilac from, Cat Luminous Lilac from Catrice Cosmetics. Um, I'm pretty sure I got this in like a Ipsy subscription. And I did have a lot of progress to begin with. There's a good dip in the center of the pan, but there you go. I hit pan after four uses, but I continue to use it because we're trying to pan the whole thing by the end of the year. So I do have that tally here. So after I hit pan, I used it three more times. So a total of seven times in this project, and this is what it looks like. I have no doubt in my mind that this is something that I'll be able to pan pretty quickly um, if I incorporate it still within the next month or so. And my goal for next month, so March's update, I want to be able to completely have this. So another one that I hit pan on was from the Makeup Revolution Wild Animal Palettes. It's the Integrity Palette. Um, it's the really pretty zebra one with the royal blue. Honestly, like I love the colors and the shades inside this palette, but the package is what like initially sold me on it. I was like, that's beautiful. I want it. <laughs> but these shades are absolutely gorgeous. And as you can see, I have quite a bit of pan right there. Um, they don't have any shade names, but it is the third one on the top row. As you can see, the pans are pretty shallow, so I'm 100% sure that I can get all three of the shades that I have in this palette and so in addition to this beautiful like light pink shade I have these two wait wrong side <laughs> I have these two in this project as well so that really pretty like fuchsia pink and this royal blue and now that I've hit pan on one I don't have like a doubt in my mind that I'll be able to like hit pan on the other two I was a little worried because I wasn't sure how deep the pans were. Those are the other shades. Get this one. It's a very pretty topper kind of shadow. Very pale, but I'll insert the look that I used a lot this I did time. use this shade a total of six times in this project before I hit pan. And then I used it another two times after I hit pan on it. So a total of eight times so far in the project. And I'm sure with the next few months, if I continue to use it, because it's a very like spring type shade, I feel. Um, swatch it again. Very like nice spring vibes with this one. And as a topper, it's so pretty. So I'll get a lot of use out of it in the next couple of months, which I'm pretty excited about. Love all the spring colors. And the third and final shade that I hit pan on for this month is from the Conspiracy palette and I'm pretty sure you can guess which shade it was because I use it all of the time because it's a perfect transition shade 
It is the shade Tanicon. It is a gigantic dip. Pretty big. I was really excited when I saw like how big of a dip there was in last month's update. And I knew like I would for sure hit it this month. So in this project, I used Tanicon a total of 20 times. But I hit pan on the 15th time that I used the shade. And kind of looking at it for this video, I was like, oh, I really do love that shade so much. It's like the perfect transition shade and I can use it for any look, which is so nice. And it's going to be gone at the end of this year. So I might like take like a little break from this and move on to another transition shade that's in this project just so I can hold on to it just a little bit longer but I have no doubt that I'll be able to completely pan that by the end of the year. So that's all the progress I made in the month of February. I think I'm moving at a pretty good pace um, considering I still have my pan those eyeshadows project going on as well but I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling very confident with this. Um, I'm making sure that no matter what I wear on my eyes like I can take a break from like I pan those eyeshadows or I can take a break from this. I'm constantly using at least one shade from either project. So we're always moving forward at some pace. Um, and a lot of times I've incorporated multiple sh like shadows from each project. So kind of playing with the eyeshadows and learning like what works well together. I've been able to see like the progress just jump forward. Um, so you see my pan those eyeshadows, uh, pretty excited for the progress I made in that one, um, which will be up maybe in the next week or so after this video. So one of the goals for March is to revisit this City Color shadow. It's their shimmer shadow in the shade Cheers to Life. Um, it was one of the first shadows actually in my pan those eyeshadows, which is really exciting. And it's a little different, it's a little messy actually. Wipe that off really quick. It looks a little different from the last time you've probably seen it if you're following either one of my projects. But there is the dip right there at the center. I've been focusing just to kind of expand it. Um, but I do want to get that expanded a good ways. Um, it's a little thin. I don't know if you can see like around the edge. You can cut. Ooh. You can kind of see like around the edge, like it's thinned out a little bit just because of how I've been applying it. But I want to make it maybe about like here is where I want to get that pan exposed um, for the month of March. And I know it's like gold and green, but I do have a couple of shadows in this project that are green. I have the shade Conspiracy from... The Conspiracy palette. So it is that green, oh, this light. There you go. So it is that green right there. I do want to start incorporating that a little bit more because I know this is one I don't really reach for. So getting it panned in time, it looks very yellow on the camera, but. Go. Very pretty. And then a little reminder of what Cheers to Life looks like. Those two. And then I also have Illuminati in here. Um, it's part of my Pandler's eyeshadows currently, but I think it's a really pretty green to kind of just visit for the month of March. So these three together, I think would be really pretty. So that's my goal for March, is to get the pan expanded on Cheers to Life so that we can see some progress going on that. And then maybe get like a tiny dip going, any kind of dip going, in Conspiracy. So that's my update on my Project Pan 2020. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about my progress this month. And do you want to see like all of the shadows every month or just the ones that I've made significant progress on? Um, let me know in the comments below and I will see y'all next time. Thanks for watching.